Uh, I just wanted to make a real short video of my avocado plant, and I'm not going to go through the whole process. Most people know how to start an avocado seed. You get the seed, some people poke a few toothpicks in there so it'll hold up on a glass of water, just keep the water on there, eventually it'll grow a root, send a shoot up. Or, as I did, I can, I can just take, put that seed down in a, some soil, don't plant it too deep, to tip up a little bit, and keep that uh, soil moist, and eventually it'll grow into a nice avocado plant. I want to show you my avocado plant here, and uh, talk a little bit about it. I'm going to focus in a little bit more on it here, get closer to it. Okay, anyway, show you my avocado plant. And uh, why I want to do this is this plant now is going on to its third year. I started the seed in the pot. Probably this one I got it in, as a matter of fact. And um, last summer, it was doing pretty good, but I was just getting one main stalk coming up here. So I, I cut it off right about where these are branching out. I cut that off and, she, and it branched out. Now what's unusual for me, from what I understand, is when you start an avocado from a seed, it can take anywhere from five to ten years for it to set flowers. And this, uh, like I say, this is going on its third year. Uh, this winter I've had it in the greenhouse and uh, earlier this winter it started setting some uh, flower buds. And so I've, obviously I, I looked it up to see how you get this thing to set the uh, fruit on it. It's kind of interesting and some of you guys out there that uh, have avocados in your garden if you're in a place where you can grow these, maybe you want to put a comment or two down. But the flowers are unique in that they open up twice, each individual flower. First time it opens up, it opens up in the male. I'm going to interject right here. I am saying this exactly so pollen, opposite of what uh, happens. The first time it opens up, there, it opens up in the female stage and is ready to receive pollen. But the male stage on that flower that isn't going to uh, produce any pollen for that flower. Well, the second time the flower opens up, it'll open up in the male stage and that'll be ready to pollinate a flower that is opened up in the female stage. This usually has to be done with two different trees as I understand it. Um, so let's get back to the video. The pollen stamens, they come up and they get ready to uh, pollinate. The trouble is, once they do that, the male part of the flower supposedly is no longer functioning. So you have to have like two plants or two flowers that are opening up one as a male and one as a female in order to get pollination. I'm going to put my other lens on quick and we'll get, try to get a close up of these flowers. You can see what they look like. And then I'll post some just uh, still pictures of them. Anyway, right now all my flowers are opened up in the female. But you can see all the anthers here, these little things here, they're all up now. In the male form, they would be laid flat back. Right in the center is the pistil. And as I understand it right now, this pistil is not receptive to the pollen. I'd have to have another flower opened up that was in the female uh, mode, and then the pollen from there could be transferred to this. Now I've been trying to just put them together and just see what happens. I'm kind of hoping to get at least one avocado to set fruit, just, uh, just for curiosity. It'd be interesting to do that up here in Wisconsin. And uh, especially after three years, uh, I just think that's it's quite good. So I'll put some link below on where I found out my information and that'll give you a better understanding of how the avocado tree works as far as getting pollinated in that. Uh, I found it rather interesting. It's, it's not real long or complicated. And here's some more flowers. Back off a little bit and see more flowers on that there. 
I've got quite a few of them on there. I'm just hoping that, uh, just for the fun of it, that one or two set of avocados. Uh, the trouble is, it takes uh, about two years, I guess, for an avocado to be ready to be picked. So I'm going to be darn near 70 by the time I get an avocado off of here if they even set fruit. So if you found this interesting, uh, why don't you subscribe to my channel? And I will see what I come up with next. I got a few more ideas in mind. I try not to be too prolific, but I try to get a few out there. So anyways, uh, subscribe and keep an eye on what's going on here in Wisconsin.